Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we've done um, really, really bad. Oof. I don't think... Um, I used to think... I used to think Flea was just the better option. But I don't think it's true. I don't think the Flea is just an objectively better bat. Even though most of the time you do want the weakness to hit the, uh, the healthiest enemy. If you go up against summon teams, you would like uh, the weakness to hit low HP units just because they have 1-ups or maybe even peppers. So that would reduce a lot of, uh, a lot of power from the summon team. So the bat definitely has a small uh, small upside, even though most of the time flea should be better than uh, the bat. Yep, even uh, even if you can't really get it to level three easily, level two should be better than uh, random weakness from uh, from the bat most of the time. It really sucks when you when there's a 50 fifty unit and your weakness just hits the one two monkey. Good take. Yeah, I, I, I think that's uh, that's what. Okay, Goose. God damn man, I still remember the level 3 Goose that killed us yesterday. I love this unit. Unfortunately, Bluebell is meant to be used on it, prioritize this for enemy random abilities, just because uh, it has more HP than reduces it. But um, we just saw that Bluebell isn't working just yet. <laughs> so I'm not gonna think it. Also, this should have been in the back, just so it's more likely to go up against one attack units. Not amazing. Please kill us. Oh wait, we lose anyway. Okay, fortunately your possums are pretty strong for round one. Okay, well, I don't know. I'll take the trumpets. You actually love this shallow cat. And... Mm, Goose flag is so broken in custom. <laughs> yep. Should work. Yep, I actually love this unit, man. We can do so much stuff with it. Easy flight shrimp usage. Lollipop even. <laughs> should be it should be a fun deal one not too much uh, incredible stuff in its own pack but still oh I'll, I'll take one of these I think uh, this clown hog is gonna stay for a bit level 2 is decent enough probably should be first now but you know I don't like to think too much ah it depends so good in front it's pretty good too but still That's nice. Okay, never mind. We got lucky. Why do we have 630 snacks that just opened the game? I don't know. Okay. Oh, Musk Ox. Friend of Hand Faints game plus 2 plus 2. Unfortunately, this is one of the units that, if you see it, you kind of have to take it for now. It's just a bit, um, a bit too strong compared to everything else in its deal. Okay, we're gonna take Hercules Beetle. Cell give one vendor friend plus one attack for each battle. This is fought. Bad stats, but because we've got this guy, we can pretty much just keep this guy in the back and win anyway. Egg. Take an egg. Egg is uh, uh, honestly one of the more interesting additions to this game. It, it's, it's cool. Maybe people will start using health abilities in front to counter the egg, but probably not. Nice. Okay, we don't lose. It, it's also a very nice counter to uh, the annoying uh, stuff we uh, we have running around in our weekly packs now. Like, just level 2 muff in front, dies easily to the egg. Problem solved. Unless they decide to buff it to counter the egg, I guess, but still. <laughs> Okay, we need stuff for, uh, for the muskox. I don't like doing this battle, but this has to go. Even level 3 is not amazing. I could speed a level 2, but what does level 2 do? Plus 2 attack for each. Oh. Hmm. There are a lot of attack dependent abilities in this pack. Like this guy give a 20% of this attack. There's this 10% of attack damage. What hog triggers for each 2 attack. This is with HP. I suppose, yep. These are enablers for uh, for late game teams. So maybe you could just keep a Hercules Beetle until late game and then sell all of our, all of our units to make sure that... <laughs> well, that'd be fun, but it's just gonna make us die, unfortunately. It's getting for Beetle. Yeah, it does, but... I would 
we like something for this musk ox aka we need dot head end so it jumps in front of it right so it gets an extra plus two plus two but next time we get the ammo as well which basically makes any uh, any unit we want the dot head end flint feints push the needle spin ahead to the front we just keep it here this unit dies pushes this guy in front musk ox just gets another plus two plus two Okay, I don't like what we've got at all. Tier 1 default stats, tier 1 default stats. Hey, kill and welcome. Hope you have a good day. It's a pretty good day, man. I get to play this game. I absolutely love it. This pack has been treating me very well. How are you liking the pack so far? Made a strawberry? Absolutely. Absolutely, man. I am incredibly surprised. They have done an amazing job with this pack. Like... The it's not incredible depth, but this is definitely uh, the first step in the right direction, man. Like, just like, okay. Main main build of this uh, of this pack, trumpet build, compared to strawberry build, right? So trumpet build has three different winning conditions, and it's amazing, man. In strawberry pack, you just go, I don't know, you use strawberry on a the unit, then you get pelican, then you get shoe build, then you get fellow, and that's it. That's all every strawberry run. And with the trumpet, which is again the main one, definitely the one we should compare the strawberry to, you've got a multitude of ways to gain trumpets. You've got on heart, you've got on summons, so you got to spam summons. This one you got to spam stats on. I think we've got even more ways. You've got percentage base, but this is uh, this is more of a universal one, just to gain a lot of trumpets. And then you've got uh, the three carries. You've got the triple coconut carry. You've got the huge AOE sniper, which unfortunately is uh, bugged right now, doesn't deal enough damage. And you've got uh, the golden retriever, just uh, the, the main feature of uh, of the trumpet. So you've got three ways to win with it, man. It's it's fun. A lot of variety. I love it. And also, the rest of the mechanics and builds are just pretty fun. There's uh, some faint synergies, a lot of summon stuff, which are going to be amazing with the old units. Like, look at this guy, man. Where is it? Flint Fates, we had a faint ability activated again, and it can work three times. Just imagine this with an old summon team, man. Three eagles in your team. <laughs> or just even with Mammoth. Mammoth Mammoth in front with 1-up, level 2 Pyranodon makes both Mammoths activate twice. And with the Tiger behind the Mammoth? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for this pack to release on the official version just so I can get playing the weekly packs, man. Yeah, until then we're definitely just gonna explore the pack itself. I feel like I'm gonna be playing a lot of this pack, definitely a lot compared to how much I played the strawberry pack, which was like two ones. Okay, we've got the poison dart frog, which basically has the same conditions as this guy. Friend head faints, friend head faints. Well it's exactly the same one. But that doesn't mean we can only use one of the two. We can just go like this. Hmm. Muskox should be just more reliable, but Poison Dart Frag is more fun. Okay, I think we're gonna keep the Ox thing. Okay, let's go for fun. Level 1 Frag is not amazing because it deals damage to the highest stealth enemy, and most of the time it just takes units to 1 2 HP and then it just snipes another one. This guy's got not enough HP, but also this is not amazing, but I guess we get two triggers out of it weakness so they go for damage now this okay i guess the frog got a kill okay african penguin my beloved plenar <laughs> it's gonna be uh custom packs when it goes live madness yep don't head end hmm can you use both door head end and ammo Lee. Oh man, yo wait, I actually, uh, I actually got one of these kind of builds yesterday when I was playing my free time at 5am, god damn it, I should have went to bed, because I knew I was going to play today anyway and I still wanted to play, man. 1-1 one, one Poison Dive Flag with 1-1 one, one Flea, both of them leveled up, you get, especially because they both got high stealth uh, <laughs> abilities as well. Well... Egg, thank you. No, I don't think we can use both of them. Okay, get out. 
Let's see if we can get more flames. Nothing. Okay, I'll just use an avocado. I'll keep my gold for the next round. Maybe we can uh, roll more times for frogs. Goldy playing golden pack. Hello, tube. Happy to see you, man. Favorite pet so far? I've got a lot of them. Oh no. Okay, there you go. Weakness plus snipe. And then we get another snipe. There's the egg. Didn't do much. Okay, we cheesed our way into a nice win somehow. I've got um I've got a lot of favorite units. One of them is definitely slug. It's just fun to have <laughs> so many units in one single unit, basically. To be fair, like, then I guess uh, Wolf is even more units in one single. This is four feints in one, this is three feints in one, but Wolf definitely sucks more if it gets sniped. If Slug gets sniped, you don't really lose anything except for the four attack, I suppose. But if this Wolf gets sniped, you do lose two pigs, right? So yeah, I really love the Slug. I absolutely love the idea behind it, just smaller and smaller units popping out of it. I also love Stout, but I haven't... Stout, I guess? But I haven't really used it too much. It's basically Stork plus Pill in the same unit. <laughs> Even though it's got a downside. If you uh, if you get a level 3 uh, Stout and sell it, you get a 1-1 one -one version of a unit. Which means you can't combine from the shop anymore to get the stats back. But it, it really depends on what kind of unit you get. If you get a support unit, like a level 3 Boiler Paradise, it definitely doesn't need stats. But if you get a carry, then you do need to get some stats on it. But still, it should be a fun unit. Haven't used it too much just because I would rather just not rely on RNG to get builds now. Okay, we've got Antelope, which we probably should just take. Oh god. Slug. Well, okay, wait, we're gonna use potato, we ignore damage from non-attacks one, so you cannot get sniped. Okay, there you go. We've got our summons for the frog. Hmm. And I guess we're all, hopefully we get more frogs. Flea, that's important as well. And us, we can buff our frog and slug and antelope. And it's pretty good value, but don't we care about stats? This is definitely not something that needs stats, just levels. Okay, we need chocolate. Okay, okay, let's see what happens. Silk moth to form with garlic. It's cool, man. They, they transformed the garlic into a unit. Okay, what is this hat? Looks like some kind of winter hat. Okay, let's see. Weakness. This is not gonna be enough to kill it, unfortunately. Deal 7. Okay, now it's gonna deal damage to this. Now it's gonna kill the ammo. Egg. <laughs> okay, we got him. Okay, imagine if we get level 2 on one of them, man. This is already pretty strong compared to what how much stats the enemy has. You know, oyster, buy and sell. We get one gold for free, but... Mm. Saga Analomp. This is just kind of a safe net now. We're not gonna keep it. Okay. Anything. No, no frogs, no fleas. Would have liked if they could have stayed 1-1 one -one for, the, for the whole game, even if you leveled them up, but... Okay, well, at least the frog can get sniped. There you go. This guy had a flea and a frog, but we use the telepath battery. Okay. Hey, journal, welcome. And... Egg. <laughs> egg is nice, because uh, if we don't kill units, we leave them really low, or really low HP, and Egg can just take care of that. Well... Let's see. What are these? Okay, onion. Move one space back when this. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> We're gonna lose the potato, but. Level 2 flea. And faint. If we had faint ability to activate again, we could get two smaller slugs, but. Uh, eh. It's nice, but. 
Okay, now we need another slug to place behind the frog. So after this dies, oh wait, yo, also this is bugged out, but I think we get the onion back. Watch this. Move one space back and this is at front once. Yoink. <laughs> this killed me yesterday, but I think we get it back and fight. No snipes, there you go. Oh my god. Oh, and both of them have cherries? Okay, this is not gonna be... Oh, well, let's just see what happens. The, the flea didn't too much. Actually, no, it did, because... Uh... Now... Okay, never mind. We can't kill that one little chico. Fuck them. If if the flea was level two, not flea. If the frog was level two, actually wait. Close, close. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna take this. Then the head attack deal 10% of attack damage to two random enemies. Well, this would be just this. But without attack on it, give attack to one random friend. Should probably just take this instead of this. We can't really use this, it needs stats. We don't have a good way to get stats. Okay. Anything with more summons, please. No. We'll, okay, no more trumpets for us, but oh man, this is gonna be so much fun. Hopefully, we don't get sniped. Okay, no snipes, just, uh, but we do really suck against the uh, Golden Achiever team once again. Because we can't get weakness on it, we can't snipe it. Okay, at least that dies, no more trumpets. There you go, and we get the snipes again. <laughs> okay, yeah, this... Okay, no, this is just amazing. Peter Brand. What could we replace this with? It's nice that we get some attack. It helps our team, but hmm, something that would definitely enhance this, right? But what? Is there anything like that? <laughs> Toad head end? Not sure how it will work. That frog plus tiger? Yep. Hmm, I don't hit end here. After this, uh, after the smaller slug dies, food come in front. That's true. I think we gotta take that. Oh my god, level 3. Yes, please. Okay, for now, we stick with this. If we see a door head end, we'll add that. Okay, level 3 dot frog. Gotta be lucky to get it. Let's see what happens. Okay, no go no retrieval. Should be even easier to win this fight. 15 damage. Okay. Shot. Well, as long as the enemy doesn't have snipes, I guess. Okay, wait, we need this. Combine. Take this. Freeze this. Okay, each shop hoods follow the leftmost shop pet at least as level 1. This just means we get one extra Trigger for the dark frag. It's just one extra layer to the slug, right? So there you go. Might as well use the pretzel. So it eats the slug. And... Chat. Okay. That frog is so powerful. What if I would better than it? Yeah, probably. Let's see. Oh no. Oh, never mind. They still die. We still get the snipes. They kill our slugs for free, but... Weakness on the big guy should not be. Oh, there you go. We get sniped, but we get the. Uh, we get the snipes anyway. This just makes it faster, basically. And again. <laughs> Nine wins. Well. If we get another whale, we can do this again. But. Tomato, then damage once. Why not? And I'll just take the level two. Zero stats is broken. Yep. The most powerful team without stats. No. Okay, we just got eight HP. We're fine. Okay. Unfortunately. 
Okay, we've still got stats. And not good enough, though. <laughs> well, it happened. We got sniped. Pita bread. Nah. Don't need more of these. No. Like, we always benefit from the NN, but if the enemy doesn't have snipes, then Potato doesn't do anything, right? And I've got 7 HP, I would rather not play it safe now. Well, that's the Void Hog. Plus 1, plus 1, with each 2 attack. So we... Nah, I'd rather keep the end. It's got Tomato now. Grizzly Bear. If we take a Grizzly Bear here, we just destroy everyone. But we don't need it. It's broken. I don't want to use it. I'll just take this. Let's see. No more snipes. We should be much more than fine. I win 7 HP. Okay, so this guy's been winning as well. Viability team with level 2 catfish, level 3 penguin. Oh my god, look at the hat! It's oh man, it's from that old douchebag meme. <laughs> okay, that's cool. And there you go, 10 wins. Well, the 1-1 one -one combo doesn't get tired than this. Okay. There you go, we've got more snacks. 